Having been wrong on those cases, isn't it possible that you were wrong about Brian Matloff? No. Nothing's happening. Should watch. Oh, oh, what? I'm so sorry, Emily. What was that? Don't you recognize a rocket when you see one? I, I was merely demonstrating a physics law. I, I, I didn't mean oh, to. Oh, show me. I have it pharmaceuticals. No one gets therapy these days without a healthy dose of medication. What are you implying, Reed? That everyone is medicated. Did you just make a joke? No. I mean, statistics. They, they, they show Reed, it. Next time, just say yes. Okay. See you and Kevin sitting in the tree. Get out of here. Are you serious? Oh. Did you get anything? Only the Finnegan's house on the hill is like the Bates Motel of Ozona, Texas. Yeah, we heard the legend. Read seriously. People that go into that house supposedly never come out. Spooky. Garcia, could you at least pretend not to enjoy that rumor so much since I've actually entered the house? But then there is that matter of his missing wife. Wife? What wife? When, when did she go missing? Almost 50 years ago. And no record of her ever being found? I got two words for you, my friend. Rear window. That guy probably chopped that lady up into delicious bite-sized little pieces. Think about it. She may have never left the premises. She may still be in the house. Garcia, I'm sitting here in the dark alone. Thanks. While you're waiting for a potential murderer to come home? It's kind of dangerous. Kind of sexy. I gotta go. You're having creepy fun. I wish I was there. <laughs> you really are afraid of the dark. I'm working on that. You should work a little harder. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Reed. Happy All Hallows Eve, folks. To paraphrase from Celtic mythology, tomorrow night all order is suspended and the barriers between the natural and the supernatural are temporarily removed. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone until I get there. Hey, hey, hard head. Don't make me spank you when I get back. Don't listen to him, Garcia. He's all talk. Ah! JJ, he's hit me. Boys, behave, or I will burn you both. All right. Uh, turn around, please. Turn around? Yeah, he's not going to show you how it's done. The magician doesn't reveal his secrets. I thought you said it was physics. Physics. Magic. Trust me. It will not do you any good to argue with him. Don't do that. Is it over? I don't know. Don't stop it. Don't. What? What's the problem? Don't do that. Why not? Because there are six elevator related deaths per year, not to mention 10,000 injuries that require hospitalization. Chill out. This sounds like pretty good odds to me. What are you, are you scared of me? You're scared of me? I'm not scared. scared. I don't so want to be in an elevator scared. with you, to be honest. That's that's really that. really that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um, hit the. Hit the. Push, push, pull, push, pull. I'm doing it. Nothing's happening. Pry, pry, the, pry the door open. Just... Yeah. <clears throat> it's stuck, man. No, 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 no. Not today. No, not today. Push! Push! Why are you acting so weird? We're sitting with a guy who knows that there are 800 kernels of corn on the average cob. Ranged in 16 separate rows. And you call him me weird? Hot. Who's the answer to all your dreams? I'm gonna put you on speaker. Oh, you completely suck. Baby girl, there's nothing to know. I hit a couple of buttons, it got stuck. That's it, what do you want? And? Okay, I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> Look at your little busy body. I know you traced that number for me five minutes ago, so give it up. Ah, yes, changing the subject. Oh yeah, you played basketball? I wanna play, I coached basketball. I broke down the opposing team's shooting strategy. Is that why Morgan kicked you out of the pool last week? Yeah, it took him three rounds to realize I was hustling him. Huh. All right, feel free to call me if you have any other background questions. My phone number is 702-555-0103. What's your name, sir? Uh, it's Dr. Spencer Reed, R-E-I-D. Visible outcast, boiling race, son of a bitch! Hi, this is Dr. Spencer Reed. I actually can come to the phone right now with a very special message that your mother is Reed. a... Sorry, I'm really sorry. I don't, know. I don't know what got into me. Where were we? I'm gonna have Garcia check the medical records. Uh, what causes asymbolia? Severe trauma produces lesions in the insular cortex, usually after a stroke. But this unsub's so young, it's most likely caused by an external factor. Like a bomb going off next to him? Yeah, like a bomb going off next to him.
I'm crushing this. What? What? We interrupt your regularly scheduled musical selection with an important announcement. Never wage a practical joke war against an MIT graduate because we have a history of going nuclear. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the dulcet sounds of me screaming in your ear. <laughs> okay, kid, that was cute. But that's all you got? Hey, baby. <laughs> is on. Just know the paybacks are a bitch. <laughs> Physics magic? Yes, sir. Reed, we talked about this. I'm sorry, sir. Well, he's starting to get some distance on those. I, uh, fell in. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of photos. This place is great. They have their own espresso machine. Uh, Dr. Reed, this is Detective Castro. She is with the SFPD liaison. Burn my hand on that espresso machine. Ah. Love chemicals controlled by phenylphylamine, also found in chocolate. I love chocolate. Peas, too. It's also found in peas. Peas? I'm, um, I'm also completing an additional BA in philosophy, which uh, reminds me that I have a joke. <laughs> How many existentialists does it take to screw in a light bulb? <sighs> Two. One to change the light bulb, and one to observe how it symbolizes an incandescent beacon of subjectivity in another world of cosmic nothingness. <laughs>